friends! Today's video is brought to you by Mucinex DM. LOL, JK. I'm just so congested, I am not doing well. Um, but thank you for joining me anyways. Today we're trying a new recipe that I've never made before. It's Panda Express Orange Chicken. It's like a copycat of their orange chicken. I have it printed out here. I'm sorry if I'm a little laggy. That's just how I feel. We're all going through it, you know. Um, the weather, allergies, all that. So we'll see how this turns out. It's gonna be good. I don't know. I have never make a recipe right the first time I try it. So wish me luck. We're gonna witness it together, but I've printed it out. I'm so professional and let's just jump right into it. All right, so I tried to work smarter, not harder. And I wanted to prepare all of the ingredients that I needed the cutting board for before I used the cutting board with the chicken. So I'm squeezing 3 fourths of a cup of orange juice. I originally had gotten um, actual like orange juice, drinking orange juice for this, and then I thought, you know what? They probably mean like fresh squeezed orange juice. Is there a difference? I don't know. Just wanted to be certain. And then it also says the zest of one orange, so basically I'm a very fancy chef. And all of the ingredients that I'm um, preparing here are for the orange sauce. And again, I don't know what I'm doing. I will put the recipe down below because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I did something wrong. I'll share with you at the end what I messed up. <laughs> oh, but here's a cool trick that I heard about, I think on TikTok or somewhere, about how to get the like garlic peel off your garlic. And I didn't think it would work, but you see me there. I put garlic in side my little container and I just shake and shake and shake it and just you wait and see turns out it worked it's amazing I suddenly feel like I can use fresh garlic in anything because that's my least favorite part and look how simple that was amazing let me know in the comments down below if you've already known about that trick am I late to the game wow that is life-changing This is my first time ever using a garlic press because I hated peeling garlic so much. And as you see there, I didn't know how to use it, but I think that black part is actually so when you wash it, you can press it back out of the garlic press. I don't know for sure, but that's how I ended up using that part. The recipe called for two teaspoons of garlic and and just kind of wung it. I like garlic, but that's probably why all of my recipes don't turn out quite right because I just wing it and I don't follow the recipe exactly. And then it says half a cup of green onion chopped, so I kind of just did my best. I don't use very good knives ever and that is something that's on my to-do list maybe that'll be my 2021 new year's resolution to be better at picking knives and like learning which knife is for what but then again my 2020 new year's resolution was to be better about checking my mail and have i done that absolutely not i check it like maybe once a month it's terrible okay and then to the garlic the lemons or the orange zest and the scallions you just want to add in your orange juice again that's all for the sauce and now I feel comfortable using the cutting board for the chicken and I'm about to show you another kitchen hack once I got the hang of it this worked out much better but you use a fork you put the little tenderloin through the fork spears grab the other end of it with a paper towel and then you just pull and it pulls that tenderloin that like you can never really cut through or chew through right out. It's amazing. Definitely worth the trouble, I think. I did a slow-mo there for you so you could really see it in action. 
And then you just want to slice this into little cubes. And then I'm adding that to a bowl. And now I'm getting the like the frying mixture, I guess, ready. So salt, pepper, egg, and oil. Whisk that together. And then also a separate bowl with flour and cornstarch. So that's going to be half a cup of cornstarch and a fourth of a cup of flour. And now we're ready to rock and roll. So you've probably all fried something before. You're gonna take the little chicken bits, put them in the egg wash, put them in the flour, and I think it's called dredging it in flour. Wow, Food Network, here I come. And then place it all in hot oil in a deep dish and let them fry for three minutes, I believe. Let me double check that for you guys. I have the recipe here in front of me. Yep, three to four minutes or until golden brown. And it says, do not overcook the chicken. <laughs> so just try not to do that. Okay, so now it is time to move on to the sauce. So to our previous mixture, you're also going to be adding one teaspoon of red chili flakes, two tablespoons of rice wine. I added rice vinegar, I didn't realize. I hope that that didn't make a difference, I really don't know. Also some sesame oil, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and three tablespoons of soy sauce. Um, I made a crucial mistake a little while ago in this video and I forgot to add half a cup of brown sugar. So we had some very, very bitter orange chicken, but I liked this enough that I wanna try it again. I think if we had the brown sugar in it, it would have been perfect. So I'll link the recipe down below. Please give it a try. I'm gonna try again. I'm just, I'm learning as I go. Okay, I wasn't gonna post this, but this is reality, so. And also, this is my first time um, rinsing my rice before putting it in my rice cooker i learned it from cleaning with kale and um you know what it made a huge difference this was the best rice i've ever made it was very sticky and delicious but i hope that you guys enjoyed watching i'm sorry that i messed up the recipe i'm gonna try it again sometime but i hope you give it a shot i'll link it in the description below if you enjoyed this video please give it a like that'll help my channel out so much and please comment down below say hi let me know you're here um, let me know if you ever make mistakes like this in the kitchen. I can't be the only one. And um, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.